What if I told you creatine wasn't just for bigger muscles, but that it could actually make you smarter? Now, I think we all know that creatine has been shown to boost strength and possible long-term hypertrophy gains, but did you realize that it could actually improve memory reaction time and protect you from brain fatigue? By the end of this video, you'll know some of the reasons why I adopted this dosage of creatine to help boost my mental performance and whether or not it's worth it for you. Let's get to it. So first of all, what is creatine monohydrate? Well, creatine monohydrate is one of the most well-researched supplements out there and it is stored in your muscles. Creatine monohydrate is used to replenish ATP, which is why it is effective in helping you in your performance in the gym. Now, aside from the gym, there have been a lot of recent studies within the last, I don't know, 10 to 15 years that have shown that beyond strength, hypertrophy and recovery gains, that creatine may have some cognitive benefits. So. What are some of those cognitive benefits? First of all, enhanced memory, recall, and focus. Now, in 2023, a meta-analysis did show that creatine monohydrate supplementation improved cognitive performance in older adults and individuals experiencing cognitive distress. Now, in older adults, the creatine supplementation improved uh, working memory and recall speeds. And if you want to think about working memory, that's just how much information you can hold for a limited amount of time. Also, in vegetarian populations, they experience a cognitive boost, probably due to lower baseline creatine levels. Most of our creatine we get from uh, red meats, meats generally, but red meats more specifically. And so they experienced a cognitive boost just from the supplementation. So if I'm preparing lectures or just wanting to stay focused, if there's even a slight chance that creatine offers me a cognitive boost, I'm all for it. But what does creatine have to say about mental fatigue and sort of combating that. Intense mental tasks are going to drain brain energy and supplementing with creatine is going to help protect the ATP in your brain and combat fatigue, keeping you sharp. Under high stress tasks, it enhanced decision-making and cognitive endurance. There was also a recent study in 2024 where the researchers took individuals and sleep deprived them for 24 hours. Now in the study, they also gave them a bolus of creatine right before doing that. I believe it was in the uh, 20 to 25 gram range and they actually measured it uh, per kilogram of body weight, but that's sort of what it shaped out to. Now in this study, after sleep depriving them, they then ran them through some cognitive tasks. Now, compared to the placebo group, the supplementation group who got the boltless of creatine actually showed improvement in short-term memory recall, cognitive processing speed, and reaction time. And this sort of highlights the possible impact creatine has under extreme conditions. Some other interesting findings is that creatine supplementation helped individuals under hypoxic or low oxygen conditions, which I don't know why this would be relevant to this video. It's just an interesting finding to note. So if you find yourself sort of changing elevations throughout your uh, days, weeks, and months, this may benefit you uh, in that way. Lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the safety profile of creatine monohydrate over the long term. So in uh, healthy, generally healthy individuals with no kidney problems, there have been no adverse effects in your standard daily dosage of three to five grams a day of creatine. Studies also indicate that sort of range of creatine supplementation doesn't harm uh, kidney and or liver function in individuals who are generally already healthy. Additionally, some of the longer term effects on cognitive and mental performance in the five to 10 gram range have also been shown to be beneficial and not detrimental. So here's the bottom line based on my own research. I take 20 grams daily. I take 10 grams in the morning, 10 grams in the evening. I use this cheap Nutricost creatine monohydrate because you don't need an expensive version of creatine. Most of the studies out there are done with creatine monohydrate, I'd say greater than 90%. And so get the cheapest, you know, with a, with a decent enough company, the cheapest creatine that you can find and you should be good to go. Now, as I said before, uh, the literature supports that if you take three to five grams a day, that's going to be enough to saturate sort of your muscle cells. But if you want to begin exploring if this can offer you a mental or cognitive boost, then supplementing with a bit more not only has been shown or is trending in the direction of being efficacious, but the safety profile on it is also very high. Now, as I said, I use this Nutricost creatine monohydrate and it's 200 servings at a five gram dose. But since I take 20 grams, 10 in the morning, 10 in the evening, this lasts me about 50 servings. When you buy two of them, you get a percentage off. So this, two of these lasts me about hundred days and that only costs me about 70 bucks. So if you extrapolate that over the course of a year, it's gonna be about 200-ish dollars and I am set in terms of my creatine for the entire year. Now, 
something to remember, I am not a registered dietitian or sports nutritionist. This is my view based on what I've read in the research. And then also factor in the safety profile of creatine monohydrate and the cost of creatine monohydrate. The trade-offs for me are worth it to ingest a little bit more creatine if there is even a chance that I get some of these cognitive benefits because outside of bodybuilding, I have a highly cognitively demanding job. I also have two little boys and there are some occasions that I don't really get the sleep that I wanna get. So explore the research for yourself. I hope this episode was helpful. And if creatine aligns with your goals, not only physically, but mentally, give it a shot. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you all in the next episode.